2x minus 4 factorize teacher this is how to factorize huh? don't know hi guys i'm language mathematics here again so back to the few videos that we have been talking about right we talked about some baby steps on how to handle algebraic expression relating to expressions and then we do some uh, more advanced one where it involves brackets and two brackets and there is two terms inside each bracket uh, those those are like slightly more advanced one you can refer to the to the videos of course okay now Today we will talk about what? Okay, it's not about expand, but we talk about the reverse of it, which is factorization. Okay, factorization. When you talk about factorization, right, there is a very, very weird um, ideology that I'm not sure whether it happens to all of you because it happens to me back to my form two, uh, form two, uh, form three. Okay, because mine is like damn long ago. Okay, so back to my form three, right? When I talk about factorization, my first thought will be, huh? What is factorization about? What we are what we are doing it for? And what's the purpose of me expanding that particular question? Then I've reverse it back and factorize. Because factorization is about a reverse of expand. After you expand it, the final answer you have to reverse it back. Huh? What are those? Okay. So, of course, before I start off all those things, right? Okay, we have to know these very important things up. Now, first, let's put a very small word here called expand, which is from the previous few videos. Up. Expand basically from a bracket we make it into without a bracket right so when you talk about factorization since it's a reverse of it right it will be what it will be no bracket change it into there is a bracket but what for what's the what's the purpose of converting it reverse okay what what was the meaning of reversing it okay never mind we just continue writing it okay some of you might say expand means open bracket okay from there is a bracket, you make it no bracket means over bracket. Okay, so from factorization point of view means you are making the bracket. Okay, from without bracket, you are making the bracket. You see, so so many, so many opposition of it. So basically they are opposite. Okay? And of course, if you talk about expanding, right? Normally we do this thing called we expand, right? We simplify. Okay? But when you come into this word, right? Oh. We have this word called factorize and sometimes they come out with simplify again. It's so weird, right? Okay, so now I will start off with these very, very important ideas that you need to know. So I will put it at the side because in a while when I do all the factorization thing, right, I'll be using it. Okay, main ideas. Okay, main ideas, huh? Okay, idea number one. So, of course you have to agree with me because now I'll ask you this thing. Okay, do you agree where let's say a uh, 2 times 3 over 2 for example okay and of course versus 2 plus 3 over 2 something very very simple okay okay of course the the standard way of doing it it will be 2 times 3 you get a 6 stick divided by 2 you get a 3 right not so the faster way to solve will be yes can i cut it off and make it 1 1 then after that eventually my answer will be 1 times 3 over 1 3 you see 2 times 3 the original way huh? 2 times 3 is a 6 6 divided by 2 is a 3 correct so this one is perfect if you straight away simplify it okay but when you come into this case okay let's do the correct way lah. the correct way we have to do 2 plus 3 you get 5 right so 5 divided by 2 you get 2.5 suppose the correct answer is 2.5 but if you cut the 2 and 2 you get 1 1 here 1 plus 3 4 4 divided by 1 4 what the answer is for so this is a big wrong for you to straight away cut it so the main point here is when there is a times divide relationship please cut cut means simplify okay cut means simplify so i'm writing some very basic ideas at the side okay now that's one of the very important ideas. Ah. Okay. Now the second idea I want to show you it's something simple where in the first video about baby steps I talked about it before. Okay, A square means you break it into A times A. Lah. Just like if I put a tree, lah, okay. If I put a tree square here, it becomes three times three. Okay, if I put a uh, let's say a cubed times a square basically the baby step says it will be a times a times a then you times a times a again you get a power 5 okay so these are the baby steps okay now put the ide uh, ideas aside okay put the ideas aside now we move into something called the factorization technique number one 
I will name it as okay. Over here, there is three skills, uh, by the way. Okay, now uh, so the three skills over here, right? We have to familiarize. Be careful with this word. We have to familiarize it. So whenever you look at a particular question, right? Familiarize it. Familiarize it. So when you look at a question, you say, "Oi, it's one of the factorizing skill that uh, Langer talked talk about it before." So let's familiarize it. Okay. So I will name it as easy version of factorization. Okay, the easy version. Okay, now before I start up this thing, right now to add one very important info besides all these things, factorization. We are converting a plus minus related question back into times divide. Okay, and expand is to convert a times divide related question into a plus minus relationship. So this one basically useless one. Okay, the main thing is this. Why are we uh, converting a plus minus question back into times divide? The idea very simple. Right? The the purpose, the only reason why we do this is because we want to achieve simplify. Okay, we are trying to achieve a times relationship so that we can simplify. So let's see the technique and I apply it into the real question. Okay, the technique. Okay, I put T as the technique. Huh? Okay. The technique go this way. Okay, number one, let's factorize. Okay, factorize this question. Okay, let's say a uh, eight uh, a square b minus let's say um sixteen a b square c for example. Okay, can you tell me what is the relationship between these two terms given? It's a eight a square b minus sixteen a b square c. It's a minus relationship, right? See, it's a minus. So they mentioned the word factorize. So what is factorize? To change without bracket into bracket, or maybe you can say make the bracket. So there's no bracket. We have to make a bracket. So we are converting a plus minus back into times divide. So how? Okay. Method one says the technique says, number one, check the number. Or maybe in textbook, right? They will say this thing called HCF. Just don't care about this thing, okay? Because it confuses students. Because students, where you are not so good in form one, right? You will say, oh, what's the meaning of HCF? Just don't care about it. Okay, we do it this way. We use explanation. Okay, eight and sixteen is the number, right? Okay, let's do it this way, ah. Huh? Can you tell me eight and sixteen? You can divide. Okay, what what number can you use to divide both given number eight and sixteen? Okay, so I will do it this way, lah. 8 and 16, you can divide by 2, you can divide by 4, okay, you can divide by the biggest one, 8. So if they talk about factorize it, we always go for maximum. So I will take the 8 out. I repeat, oh, 8 and 16, you can divide by biggest number 8. Lah. You can use 2, you can use 4, but biggest will be 8. Lah. Okay, so once you divide by 8, both of them, you put a bracket, of course, you have to blank something for your unknown later. Lah. Okay, so 8 times what equals to 8? 8 times 1 equals to 8. 8 times what equals to 16? 8 times 2 equals to 16. Then the minus, you put it back. So do you notice, from a plus minus down, I put a bracket, and now it becomes, you see, 8 times 1, 8, 8 times minus 2, minus 16. It's the same process, it's just that I'm doing a reverse of it. Right? Okay? Now, let's go into the given unknowns. So, second steps. Look at the unknowns. Okay? and search for repeated one okay repeated one and pull the repeated one out and write it outside and write the leftover inside okay how we do that very easy okay a square b means a a b you see see this this thing you see a square means a a lah so of course this is how i explain but in your exam do you do something like this no of course it will if let's say you can do it faster you can write it faster you can think only by using your your brains and after you write answer out it, it will be way 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 better okay so this will be a b b and c now tell me in the given two terms on your left and right right can you tell me which unknown repeats okay let me cancel it a repeats a repeats okay then b repeats b repeats nothing repeats anymore so the repeated one you put a b both of them repeat a and b and the leftover one will be A, and the leftover one is B, C. So your final answer is 8A, B, bracket, A minus 2B, C. So do you know, uh, of course the one you don't have to, uh, you, you cannot write it out uh, because A means 1A. Uh, the one, please ignore it. Okay, now so in this case, right, in this case, do you notice 8A, B and the bracket shows a times relationship? So I already factorized my answer. 
Okay, but how if it applies in a in a how say in a exam question where they want you to simplify? Okay, so let's say I show you an example that looks like this. Okay, um, okay, let me come up with the so-called if they ask you to simplify. Okay, simplify. This is about factorize. This is about simplify. Okay. Now, so technique wise, we know already. And okay, now I will come up with this thing. Let's say a uh, fifteen uh, x square y minus. I think the plus uh, because this is a minus, right? So twenty seven x y square over. There is a three x y given here. Okay. So something easy. Okay. Look at this thing. Okay. So see how it works. Okay. Number one. Hey, do you notice that's a plus relationship on top and there is a divide, right? So let's refer to the given idea. Okay, can I cut 2 and 2 up and down in this case? I already say, if let's say plus and mi minus, plus minus related questions, right? You cut it, you simplify it. It's a big wrong. Don't do that. We forbid that. Okay, of course you can, you can further do this thing by using other methods, but I, I won't be showing you that because that leads to errors. So in order to make your error, uh, how say, to reduce your error and stuff, right? I prefer you to look at these kind of workings. Okay, see how I, I, uh, I explain this whole thing. Uh. Okay, first, okay, it's a plus minus. Can you cut the 3 and the 15 on top? No. Can you cut the X and the X2 on top? Can you cut the Y and Y? No. As long as you get a plus minus, don't ever touch it. Okay, some student, uh, some teacher might say, I will use the 3 and cut both. Yeah, I know you can do that, but please don't do that because it increases your error. Uh, so if let's say you interpret it wrongly, right, then that will be a worst case really. So better you treat it this way. Plus, minus, don't simplify. Only when it's a times relationship, then you cut it. Okay, now, into this case, uh, see, uh, first thing, in order to convert your plus, minus back into times divide, we have to apply what? Factorization. So one of the skills that we learned before, okay, now, we check, uh, you see, we will check one by one a uh, number, okay, 15 and 27. Can you tell me both of the number you can divide by what? Obviously 3, right? Okay, so you put a 3, you leave some blank for the unknowns, you put a big bracket, and now you tell yourself, 3 times what equals to 15? 5. 3 times what equals to 27? It's a 9. And the plus, you put it back. Okay, this is something simple, of course. Okay, now, look at the unknowns. Of course, like what I mentioned before, this is not a way, not a correct way, huh, for you to handle your factorize because normally we will just think and straight away write the answer. This one is just to show you. Okay, x square y means xxy, xy square means xyy. Who repeats? x repeats, y repeats, so you put x and y. Who left inside? x and y over 3xy the important thing comes in really do you notice from a plus minus now it becomes bracket where it shows 3xy bracket is a times relationship so the inner plus minus you don't touch it so we touch the times related one because times you can cut so cut cut fantastic your answer is 5x plus 9y so this is how we do the first version of factorization where I name it as the easy way of factorization. We have a total of three skills. This is only skill number one. Okay? And of course, again, I have to repeat this thing. When I come into the next part called the next level, okay, the next level, I name it as moderate factorize. We have to know one very important thing. Why we are doing factorization? Because we are converting a plus minus, you see, a plus minus relationship question back into times divide so that we can simplify. Okay? So stay tuned on the next video. So if you like the whole video process on how I explain, of course you share it, tag your friend, subscribe my video for the next interesting video. Bye.